hat that I bought last year from Centaurus that was made in Hunza. We washed it in the washing machine and it's got a bit funny, so we can take it back and see if the brother can help us a bit because they've got that stall set up again in Centaurus. They have it every year around about this time, so we'll go there. So this hat, I'm gonna get it sorted out because we put it in the washing machine and it's not good. It's come out really bad. So it's meant to just sit on like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's not round, is it anymore? The folded bit. Yeah. It's so. kind of become squarey, rectangular. Brother said, come back and let's see what you can do for us. Yeah. The main thing was I was worried that these guys that are going to be working here might not remember uh, who I was because there has been one whole year but luckily the brother Wasim who I managed to take his number I managed to get in contact with him and also the main guy you'll see him later on in this uh, vlog his name's Sohail he also remembered me which made things very very easy because look if I'm purchasing this 12 months ago and I've gone ahead and washed it incorrectly when this is it's a, it's a handmade product that should be hand washed because of the material that it's made out of so it was my fault it wasn't actually their fault but I just thought I'll take it back and see what they could do so he offered to fix it uh, th this brother here tried to fix it with using his knee the other brother said he might have to take it back and fix it properly. Ready? Yes. Yeah. It looks different. Yeah, it looks very different. So we, we when we tried it, it at home. We have to keep stretching it as well. Mm. Bless this brother's cotton socks. He put all of his heart and soul into it. He, he was stretching it and stretching it and stretching it and trying to make it as perfect as possible. It looks much better than when I walked into Centaurus, uh, but it's still not right. He tried his best, bless him. But I'm just there trying it on. And then shortly I'm going to walk over to Brother Sohail. He's the main gaffer, the main man. And he's just going to take it away back to Hunza. And what they'll do there is they'll try and um, put it together properly using the many tools that they have there kind of looks all right but that's not how it should sit that's not how it should fit at all So as Myra was mentioning earlier, we both did try to sort the hat out as best as we could. Ours was a complete shambles, but the other brother who tried it with his knee did much better than what we did. But this is Sahili uh, just telling him, look, does it look right? Because we don't know, we actually don't know. This is traditional, a, a hat that's traditionally worn in the northern region, in the, in the mountainous areas of Pakistan which by the way we haven't really visited before so he said as soon as he looked at it he said it's not right so he's just trying to do what he can but it still it still doesn't work so what he's saying he'll take it away with him and try and fix it sorry about my nose guys i know it's the size of an elephant just got a little bit of a um, infection going on my my personal opinion with pakistan is as such when you do buy things from a shop as long as they don't have something written where it says no returns no exchange something like that right generally speaking you can return and if they are a respectable business it doesn't mean if they're a busy or a well-known brand or anything like that even from the smallest shops that i've been to as long as they're respectable people as in they have values they have culture i mean cafe biblio by the way just enjoying some uh, iced mocha and uh, a brownie just so i'll finish off some videos here if they're respectable people they have culture they speak to you nicely they're not cunning and conniving they're not there to make a good extra 
thousand rupees or so you know they're not there to make an extra five pound off you they will look after you properly like this brother did not have to sort my hat out it was my issue but what he did was he took it back to Hunza they tried to sort it out they couldn't so what he did was he rang me and he said look I know you don't live in Islamabad I'm going to give you a brand new hat if you want I will use by Kia which is a local like uh, motorbike service which is quite efficient uh, here in Islamabad even in Rawalpindi you can use them they're really efficient they're really economical he was willing to use that from his own cost just to give me a brand new hat I said I, I just said to him no it's no need I'll come and I'll pick you up myself so when I came to collect my hat he, he handed over the hat and everything and I still confirmed with him I said look is there anything I owe you he said no what we're going to do with your hat is we're going to make it into pieces and make something else with it so I'm really happy with that service and even the brothers I mean these these brothers are for Hunza there was another brother that we purchased the carpets from in the previous vlog they were from Chitral I think I pronounced that right it's uh, a few hours north or somewhere near Swat again these are northern regions they said that look take the carpet you've got a whole month to decide if you want it or not and we did we, we took our time with a lot of the products and we brought them back and they took them back they refunded it whatever the difference was they were not shocked that they came back they were not annoyed that we brought them back so for me personally when when I'm buying from a shop I look at the person who's selling the product to me is he there to make a quick sale is he there to make up four or five lies or does he seem calm collective has culture seems like a person of faith and based on your gut instinct you go ahead and you purchase because we were spending three four five hundred pound at the carpet place but me and Myra both felt like you know what we can trust these guys and we did we ended up spending a lot with them but we were bringing lots of things back and they were completely fine with it and they were happy with it so in that case I think with Pakistan even though people are trying to make as much money as they can because look you know they've got no free healthcare they don't have free education they've got no benefit system there's so many things we can say okay yeah Pakistan doesn't have this Pakistan doesn't have that it's a, it's a developing country it doesn't have much to offer it has culture to offer it has respect to offer it has religion to offer which by the way when we moved here a lot of people said that there's more religion in the UK than there is in Pakistan it depends where you're looking and I'll leave it as that see you in the next one guys assalamu alaikum